what is ttl and time and all i'll explain by default i am sending 32 bytes of packet so ping is a packet okay so i am sending four packets and i'm getting four packets reply so my two pc are connected i am sending four ping request this is known as echo request okay and how computer understand this is echo request there is a code in it and that code is basically 8 so this is a type code so how my computer understand it's a request because when we send this echo request echo is a type of message we are sending from pc a to pc b with a code that is echo request type code 8 that means it's a request and b is going to reply with all four replies here so that is echo reply for every request we are going to receive one reply it means we are sending four packets it means we are going to get back four replies and the echo reply code is zero so this is how your computer understand when they are getting because computer is getting zero one all the data in the form of zero one so how it is getting its echo reply or echo request because when we are going to write this eight into this binary form like kind of this so when these type of zero ones are coming from another device it means we are getting a request and we need to send a reply back with all zeros so if it's getting more complex uh, you can just uh, simply understand it's a ping packet we are sending request and we are getting reply back and this is a tool to check the connectivity between two devices so by default we are sending what type of size 32 bytes of packet okay and in how much time we are getting reply back in 2 millisecond 1 millisecond this time represents how much time my computer is sending data to another device and device is sending reply and this reply is coming in 2 millisecond second reply i got in 1 millisecond okay third reply i am getting in 2 millisecond so it varies right sometimes it 2 millisecond 3 millisecond it depends on the location also if you are pinging google.com obviously you are going to get more time because google servers are at different location we call this latency we call this time also you can say that delay you can say that in network language all these are common or same thing so what is ttl over here that is time to live suppose we are sending a ping to any device but it's not actually present in my network suppose you are sending request from pc a to any device which is not in network okay over the internet it is very important when you are pinging google.com but mistakenly you are pinging some another ip that ip is not available in the internet so actually what happens your routers if you are sending ping request your router is going to decrement this value with 1 suppose you are sending request with 128 the first router will make it 127 the request is going with another router 126 125 so if location is not identified if location is not in my network or anywhere in the network that packet will be discarded or dropped when the ttl value will be zero so ttl is just like expiry date okay i am going to send a limit with 128 it means if we don't get this ip address within the 128 routers i am going to drop this packet got it why we have this ttl value because if we don't have ttl the packet will keep revolving in our network and it will create internet loops this is the power of ttl value if we don't have anything in internet it is going to discarded or drop after roaming to 128 routers okay it means ttl value is a like expiry date If we don't get in 128 routers, I am going to drop this packet. So that is the value.